Hello folks, well I've got a new Henry to look at today courtesy of Pneumatic International. This is a brand new Henry, not yet launched but it should be available in the shops very soon. And when you get yours, if you decide to buy one, it will be in a proper box with uh, lots of pictures of Henry on the outside. I expect that this is a sort of like a, a preview model that I've been sent to have a look at. So look at it, I will. This is a Henry Allergy. Now, he's blue, but he's red on here. I think he's a blue colour from the pictures I've seen. In fact, I'm hoping he's this blue. Otherwise, I've wasted my money on a new T-shirt. So, it's pretty standard Henry fare. This is based on the 160 size, so it's a compact Henry. But where this differs from all the other Henrys that have gone before, this has an A-rated dust emissions. So, for any of you with allergies or sensitivity to dust, pollen, dust mites, that sort of thing, this Henry should keep all the dust inside without blowing any of it out. So, an A rating for dust emissions. He also gets an A rating for energy use. He gets a C rating for dust pickup from a carpet. He gets an A rating for dust pickup from a hard floor. And he's only 72 decibels. So when he's cleaning, he should be doing it quietly. So this is a, an extra nozzle you get with the allergy version. And this is the nozzle, I believe, that gets the A rating for dust pickup from hard floors. So this is a specialist hard floor tool. Now I've had one like this, in fact I have got one like this that I bought separately, um, but it was billed as like a multi-purpose tool for carpets and hard floors. But this one is supposed to be just for your hard floors and it's actually got an extra little tire on the wheels so it grips the hard floor better. And you've got a squeegee at the front, quite a rigid squeegee, and a squeegee at the back, and two smaller wheels, as well as the larger wheels. There are litter pickers as well. I suppose you could use this on long, uh, sorry, on short pile carpet would be okay, but it is mainly designed for floors. And you've got your little bracket there to store it at the back of Henry, just if you want to pause your cleaning or when you're storing it away, if you're going to leave that nozzle on. Your standard small set of tools, pretty familiar cleaning tools, so we get the dusting brush there, your furniture slash all-purpose nozzle for your upholstery, your curtains, your stairs, and you've got the slide-on brush as well. A crevice tool, of course, for your nooks and crannies. And finally, the little adapter so you can connect any of the tools directly to the end of the hose. Here's the curved handle, incorporating a suction control. Again, it's pretty similar to the other Henry's. Nice long conical hose, so it's wider at the machine end than it is at the handle end, which is supposed to increase airflow through the machine, increases the suction. These are very good, they're only a low wattage, but I have found that Henry cleaners still have tremendous suction power, even though they only use comparatively little electricity. Two individual tubes. I still wish Henry Wood, pneumatic wood providers, with a nice telescopic tube instead of these two single tubes, but they've been doing it for long enough. People still buy the Henrys, but I would like to see personally telescopic tubes with possibly a click fitting with a button release because sometimes these tubes can sort of fuse themselves together and they're quite hard to pull apart. But that's a small niggle. This is the main carpet and floor nozzle. So that's the newer design which personally I prefer, although it's got a plastic base plate. I still find it picks up better than the previous metal base plate models. You've got uh, a nice wide suction channel, you've got litter pickers either side, and of course you can use this on hard floors, 
by pressing the pedal to lower the brush at the front and at the back. So you don't have to attach the extra nozzle. This will still clean hard floors pretty sat satisfactorily in my um, experience. This is probably good if you've got exposed floorboards with cracks. Because I think this is designed to help clean dust out of a crevice in a hard floor. Which is why the, it gets the A rating. That's one of the uh, provisos of that test, that EU test. It has to be able to pick up dirt from a crevice in a floor. So that's ideal for exposed floorboards. But if you've got smooth floors, smooth wooden floors or tiling or laminate, this nozzle with the brush down will be fine. And of course you've also got your little parking slot there to put it on the back of the cleaner. A nice wide roller as well. And of course you've got the flexible neck. So, are you going to be blue or are you going to be red? I still don't know. Exciting. Now we do get one spare bag with this. I'm not sure how many bags you'll get with the model that when it goes in the shops. I believe the bags have changed slightly now. They now have a red collar, but they're more or less the same. Pneumatic HepaFlow bags. I'd always use, I've said it before, always use genuine bags in your vacuum. These aren't expensive. They're widely available. They're very strong, very large, and they will maintain the efficiency of your Henry. Right then, Henry, show your face. You are blue, he's blue. When I first learned about this cleaner, he was pictured as the traditional Henry Red, but he's more or less as blue as my t-shirt. Phew, I haven't wasted eight pounds. So there he is looking rather different. So this being blue, it differentiates him, I suppose, from the other Henrys. When you see him in the shops, you'll know it's blue for allergies. There's no label on this cleaner. I've had sort of pre-release cleaners from Pneumatic before and there's not been a label here. I think it'll be a 620 watt motor, but don't quote me on that. I think it is. You've just got a single speed motor on this version and also a mains on indicator. So on the outside, apart from being blue, he looks much the same, doesn't he? He looks much the same as your famous smiling Red Henry. But Henry Allergy has a secret inside. Let's have a look. So in order to gain an A rating for dust emissions, Henry has a brand new filter inside. So we'll just release the motor unit and we can reveal slightly different. A regular Henry doesn't have a filter here, but this one has a new pleated filter. Now there is a, a locked and an unlocked padlock here. So I'm assuming we turn this big red dial to the unlocked position and we should, yes, we can remove the filter cover. And this is, or was, <laughs> the extra special allergy filter. Now I'll have to check the instructions if this is washable. I'll probably say not, but it might be. You will be able to, of course, buy replacements from Pneumatic. I'm not sure how long they're designed to last, but um, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see um, when this goes into full production. But yes, um, so it's a pre-motor filter and quite a large filter as well. This is pleated, sort of HEPA style. You've got suction seals around it and at the bottom as well. Uh, www.pneumatic.com it says there. And can you just see Henry's smiling face embossed on the filter? And under here, of course, we've got the motor. So let me just see if, what type of motor it is for you. I think... Uh, if my email thing doesn't keep going off, I'm in demand today. I can't see what type of motor they are or the wattage, but I think I think you'll find it is a 620 watt motor on the Henry Allergy. Of course, apart from this new super duper filter, we've got 
another filter here and normally these aren't washable either but you can brush them clean or if you've got another vacuum you can vacuum it clean I know some people have washed these successfully but I'll just check do not wash it says so you're not really supposed to wash it and underneath oh and that's funny we do have the latest bag inside as I said I think they've just changed the the uh, color of the collar doesn't look any different it's uh, NVM 1CH yeah, same same bag number on there just this more or less the same isn't it so you've got a like sort of a silicone seal and a little flap that you can hold over a full bag when you dispose of the dirt and there you go that's the inside of the bin and of course with the latest Henry style cleaners you've got position here to store some of the tools and that's your parking slot so it goes with the writing uppermost this way up just pushes on to the bag support tube make sure it's tightly on and also when you're putting bags in make sure they don't hang over the side make sure it's tucked in very nicely like that and then of course you pop this filter so the bag of course is your first filter and then you've got another layer of filtration with this big filter here and then finally you've got the exhaust filter although it's a pre-motor I think and less exhausts let's have a look where the exhaust is on this have they changed it no it still exhausts out of the back there and I can't see any sort of other filter inside there either if I can remember which way it went on not sure if it was that way we'll try and put it on both ways no it won't go on that way so it obviously goes this way just encircling the motor and then we pop this I think uh, the noise level I didn't mention it's did I say it was 72 decibels the noise level of this so it's pretty quiet so that goes there that's lined up and then you turn turn the big collar to the locked position and of course we've got Henry allergy written on the front line it up because you can only put these on one way now not like the old Henry's you could put them on a different way you have to line up this little cut out here with the parking bracket and then close it that seems to go up that seems to close much easier somehow than previous Henry's I've had that seems a lot easier to do nice long cord I think they're about 10 meters on these I do like the compact shape they still uh, you can still buy a full-size um, Henry the Henry 200 but not in the allergy you can get Henry micro but it doesn't have as good as good as filtration as this machine and I do prefer the more compact size so just a little bit easier to handle around the home okay let's plug Henry in for the first time get ready for your debut Henry oh well, hang on before I can plug you in I've got to take that off there we are okay Henry are you ready are you ready for your first switch on and as you can see when you plug Henry in it's very bright lighting here but uh, you can see the red light illuminates I'll turn you on without your nose in position sounds slightly different slightly different to a regular Henry but uh, still a very pleasant sounding vacuum let's pop your nose on you can seek out some dirt if that the screws on the same way nice tight fitting I think that hose is a little bit shorter to be honest it's still it's still a nice length hose but I think they've uh, shortened it slightly lovely yes he's got good suction and as I said when I was unboxing Henry this is the little adapter which is very useful especially when you're cleaning the car in a confined space that's a very good nozzle it's nice and soft that's good for you doing your Venetian blinds or your pelmets or your shelving 
anything that needs a little bit more delicate care, lampshades and things, this nozzle is ideal. And of course, I've got all the other, all the other nozzles that come with Henry. So, Henry, I know you've only just been unboxed to the YouTube viewing public, but I'm going to have to put you to some work, aren't I? Because I don't think the viewers will be happy if I don't show them picking up some dirt with you. Well, as it happens, I do have quite a lot of dirt. So, Henry, let's see how you pick up on carpets and we'll give you a quick uh, demo on the hard floor as well. Oh dear, I've put down rather a lot of dirt for Henry Allergy to cope with on his first YouTube appearance on this channel, but I think he'll cope. Now, you're going to work for me, aren't you, Henry? There is a bit of dust in the air, but fortunately, once Henry's cleaned up the carpet, I'll leave him running and he'll be able to suck the dust out of the air and keep it inside. Okay, let's switch on. So Henry Allergy has managed to pick up everything I threw down on this carpet. And unlike some cleaners I've tested, the nozzle doesn't stick to the carpet. You can feel that it's doing the job, but it's not very difficult to push. Some cleaners go the other way. The nozzles are too easy to push and you feel it's not getting deep down. But this is a great compromise because I find it easy to push. This is just a short pile carpet. Obviously, carpets are different. You might find it harder to push on your carpet, but on this carpet, it's very easy. And another good thing about Henry Allergy, he didn't disturb my dog, Daisy. I think she slept through most of the demonstration just behind me. So if you've got dogs that don't like the noise of your vacuum, this one sounds very pleasant indeed. One thing I will say about the Henry Allergy, if you have pets in your home, I would invest in one of Pneumatic's full-sized turbo nozzles. Now you can buy it on its own, or better value is to buy it in the Henry Pro Kit. That consists of the full-size turbo nozzle for your carpets, a smaller turbo nozzle that's suitable for your upholstery, stairs and car interiors, etc. and a dedicated hard floor brush. You can pick one of those up from myhenry.co.uk or Argos normally have them in stock. Well, here's another extreme example, rather a lot of dirt put down. I'm going to first test the specialist floor nozzle. Now I have a feeling before I even do this test that this particular nozzle may snow plow some of the larger particles. Should be fine with the flour and the loose leaf tea, but the couscous, rice and lentils, it might push them in front of the nozzle. But uh, we'll give it a go anyway. Try and step through all this mess. Come on, Henry, don't let me down now. Well, as predicted, I was correct. It has picked up all the flour. Um, it's left some of the larger particles. It's left a, a few bits of the loose leaf tea. I can see some lentils. It's picked up a fair bit, but as I predicted, if we just move the camera down, we can see 
that Henry has snow ploughed a lot of the larger particles. I'll be able to get those just by passing the nozzle over it, lifting the nozzle up. And this is extreme, isn't it? You're not likely to have this sort of dirt on your floor. Well, at least I hope not. <laughs> Okay, well I've fitted the regular carpet and floor nozzle to Henry. I think it might have the same problem of snow ploughing, but the brushes at the front, at least they do have some inlets in them, so it might bring in some of the dirt. But snow ploughing is a problem with many vacuums when you're trying to pick up a larger debris, or you're picking up an extreme example like this. Just gonna try and clean up this bit here. Well, there you go. Henry did struggle with some of the larger particles, but every single thing I put down on the floor was picked up using both nozzles. I think, personally, this nozzle is slightly better for hard floors. It's certainly very good at cleaning up to the edge, but just don't expect it to be able to pick up large particles. But, you know, I put down an awful lot of dirt for poor Henry on his first day. So really, if you're just cleaning up normally, I don't think you'll have any problem with Henry Allergy. Unfortunately though, poor Henry Allergy, has got a bit of flour on him, on his hose, on his wheels. So I think he's had a very busy day, a long journey. So I think it's an early bath and to bed with you young man and maybe a bedtime story. So there you go, that's the new Henry Allergy from Pneumatic International, a company that's been making cleaners in Great Britain for almost 50 years. In fact, next year is their 50th anniversary. And Henry Allergy is the latest in a long line of smiley-faced cleaners. Well, he may look a bit toy-like, but as you could see from those demonstrations, he sure knows how to pick up dirt. In fact, he picked up a lot of dirt that many bagless cleaners would struggle with. Henry Allergy should be available in the shops around October time and he'll retail initially for about £200, but I wouldn't be surprised if after a while you might see some special offers on this machine. So if you need the cleanest exhaust air possible, the Henry Allergy is the one to go for because you can't retrofit that special filter to any other Henry. This one has been designed specifically for the Henry Allergy. Well, before I go, I notice a pile of dirt that we forgot about. So I'm sorry, one more demonstration and then it's time for your bath and an early bed.
Well, that's about the end of my unboxing first look and brief demonstration of the new Henry Allergy. If you have any comments or questions about this cleaner, please comment below. And don't forget to check out my pneumatic playlist where you'll find I've tested a lot of pneumatic cleaners, including the famous Henry, the George 3-in-1 and the Charles Wet and Dry. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Thumb up, subscribe and stay tuned for more vacuum fun. Bye for now.